Hey guys, I just kind of want to go back over everything that I actually have been putting out there. Just kind of let y'all see how things came out, the end result. We poured these up yesterday. Just kind of want to see how they ended up. So, welcome to the channel. This is Low Mind Designs, and we were trying some new additions to add to our portfolio. And just kind of want to see how they came out. So, this was a pretty little dolphin. So, we're going to see how it came out. It's a bookmark. Oh my God. First time I'm actually doing this. And I actually love it. It has a little ridge or something on it, but I can kind of sand that down a little bit. It's a little uh, hole right there. So I could guess I could put the tassel. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that there? It's a little hole right there. I could put a tassel or a charm or something in there. It's pretty. I like it. This is my absolute favorite one. Oh, I like the little bunny. Oh my goodness, it's so cute and adorable. Oh, let's see if I can get around the bunny ears. It's perfect for Easter. Look at there, the little bunny ears. I don't know if you guys can see the little impressions. It does have a little indention there for a tassel or a charm as well. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to sand these down because the ridges are a little bit rough around them. And then I'm gonna have to make sure that that uh, indention to push the tassel, tassel or the charm through is clear for path for putting that through there. It's a little bit rough. So far, I'm loving it. Look at this. I did not use um, so uh, the resin release so this was interesting to see how oh the little bow tie through there <laughs> i was wondering why that little hole was there this came out really nice as well it has a hole at the bottom and that one came out just fine it's like a little this was supposed to be a little dog paw so it'd be great for little boys these are really good little things to give your kids to help them read their little books and they can have little bookmarks for them. That's why I did this. Oh, look at there. I'm gonna have to shape that up just a little bit right there on the edge. I see it's a little bit more than what I expected. So yeah. And the hole in that one came out. I'm gonna have to push through on that one too. It's a little bit uh, resin in there. So far, the bookmarks are coming out really, really good. I'm really, really thoroughly impressed. This is my second favorite. <gasps> Look at the little whiskers. Oh my goodness, this is too cute. I love it. So far, these, these are becoming my little favorites. I thought I was gonna like the other ones, but I absolutely love these. Love them, love them, love them. They came out really nice. I'm about to trim them up a little bit, give them a little bit of love, and I think they'll be great to add to my, uh, my, uh, Etsy shop. Let's see. Oh, this is still do, 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 do. That's still down, down there. And it's probably because this one had a little bit of UV resin. I ran out of resin and added some UV in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the light and let it stay on there for about five or 10 minutes. And let's see how that works. Just never know. I thought I had enough uh, to complete everything, but I ran out of resin. So, we're gonna see if we can make this work. Let's stick here. I'm gonna give it a little bit of love. The good thing here is, 
We'll take this and put it on the side. Push these over some. Set this up there. Set this up here. Plug these in. See if that go ahead and, and cure that for us. This one, I don't think I put any in there. I'm gonna put that one in there just in case. I think I may have. But this one is all resin epoxy. That's what I'm gonna say, epoxy. Guys, this is phenomenal. It has a little bit of a a rough edge on it but I like it it has like texture in it I love it when I say I love it I actually love it I love it I actually do I, I think this is actually one of my favorites besides my little bunny and my my kid my kitten let's see if that got hard and it may it may take a little extra time I'll put some more time in on those so my second, third favorite, these little pins. Oh my God. I love these pins. Let's see how this came out. Let's see if it loosens. It came right on out. Guys, look. Oh, look at that pin. I love it. Great, great addition. So, I did some other pins yesterday, and I was going to add some charms or anything to them. So, I think I'm going to add this little butterfly, and then my initial, and put it at the end of them. You can put other charms with it, too, if you like, but these are what I have right now that I'm going to put with it. I may get some gold or something like that, or some butterflies that are, that are, that are gold or, or silver or something like that, and put on the end of them, but I'm going to... Put a little end piece there and take this port off and i have myself a signature pin oh my god i love it i love it i actually did this this is supposed to be a pet tag of a girlfriend who has a cat his name is cairo he is the meanest cat i've ever seen besides the one i had before when i was a little girl his name was Demon because he used to kill all the animals and bring them to our front porch. I was like, what the devil is going on with this cat? But anyway, her cat's name is Cairo and her favorite color is purple. So I kind of did this for her. It has not really kind of cured the way I would like it to. So I'm going to put it up under here as well as, and see if we can get it to cure some more. But I think this should be done. Yeah. Okay, it's not sticky anymore, and it's hard. The only thing is, look at that. Because I did two separate types of resin, I'm seeing the difference of the actual materials. You see that? I'm gonna let it stand there a little bit longer, see if I can get it to cure. I don't know if that's because I touched it earlier or what, but we're gonna see if we can get it to cure a little bit more. Let's see the other one. Yeah, I think because I touched them and they were still kind of what you call it, I kind of messed them up. But that's okay. Those will be mine. I don't care. I was just testing this out. It's the first time ever using it. It was an experience. And hey, that's what we're here to do is learn, right? On my other pins, on another note, I may give this one away. I have a couple of them. There, that came out just as good. I think I like these now. I did them yesterday and the day before to me, and this is just my thinking. I did this one with UV resin 
I did this one epoxy. I like the epoxy better. It did phenomenal. Although these took only four or five minutes to do, but they were so sticky and they still are a little sticky. I don't like that. This one, perfect. It took longer to cure, in which I have uh, I have something coming in that's gonna resolute that. So, and maybe it can cure within an hour or two versus 24. So, this is, this is gonna be my go-to. I actually love my pens. This one. Love it. Came out perfect. Just like these. Perfect pins. Perfect pins. Perfect. I love it. I'm going to give these away to somebody. Um, I actually have a couple of people in mind um, that I work with that kind of help me at my new uh, job. So I think I'm going to give them to them as gifts. Uh, I think I'm going to give them these as gifts. These are going to be my little gifts or maybe one of these. I don't know. I think I like those for myself. But because the other ones didn't come out good, I may do that. So, or let them choose which ones they want. But it's like four people. I'm about to do another pen because I thought this one was going to come out really nice. And like I said, I did it with UV resin and it's sticky. I don't like it being sticky. So I'm going to have to do some more. But let's see how this came out. And then I got one other big one I'm going to do. Oh. Yeah, I love it. But I don't like that. Don't like it didn't do as well as I would have thought it would have. It should have. And it's sticky. That resin is sticky. I do not like it being sticky. I don't like that UV resin. I mean, I like it, but I don't like it. How about that? Can I say that? I like it, but I don't like it. It's sticky. It's still sticky. I don't like that. And then I don't want it to mess up my stuff. But here's the ultimate thing that I'm doing, guys. And I want you guys to see it before I signed off. Look at that. It's not done, but it's what's to come. Doing this for my brother. You see the colors, you know what it is. Uh, it's a gift for him. So I gotta put some more in there. As you're able to see, it's not totally all the way to the top. So I had to let it cure because I needed to get the air bubbles out. So now that it's cured and it's good to go, I'm gonna go in and do the remaining. So I was thinking about doing the gold at the top and black at the bottom. So I have a contrast. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just curious. It actually came out really nice. I am very, very pleased with these. My molds did awesome with no release on them. I can't complain. I am thoroughly pleased with, with doing this project. Uh, it was a test and I passed the test really good. I have a few things I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on. However, for the most part, I'm gonna tell you a few things you're gonna need when you're doing this type of Type of things you're gonna need to get you some deburring tools and a Dremel. You're gonna need something like this. So, if you ever are doing this or decide to go into doing this, and you're gonna need some UV right lights and a few other things, but most definitely molds, UV lights, and get you some things that can protect your area. I got these little boxes. I have a silicone, but when I'm drying them, I put them in the boxes. But I'm gonna go through this and kind of deburr these edges that are a little bit too much. You see how it comes off? It just comes right off. It helps. If you don't have the uh, Dremel, you could do that and get those little hard edges off of there. So until next time, guys, have a good one. And thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. 
because I'm giving them away. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Thank you. And look at and like and subscribe down below. Have a good one.